The internet is a magical place. It's powerful. My YouTube felt like the first time where I didn't have to have any kind of gatekeeper to tell me yes or no. It was just like people were seeing my work. The video I put online for the first day gets a million views. Because I do everything on my own. I sit in a living room by myself and I scream at a camera. And that's been my career for the past two and a half years. You're one of the main examples of us seeing somebody in the span of a couple months go from just making music in their home to really having a record that's on the radio. Every hour it's playing. It's insane. And um, we know because we've experienced the power of the internet firsthand. Literally anything is possible on the internet. In 2016, one of our dance videos randomly went viral and um, we ended up on India's Dancing with the Stars in Mumbai for three months, which was crazy. It was insane because we got to dance in front of some of our childhood idols, literally. In 2017, we got calls from all over the world for gigs, and uh, one of them was China. They had actually seen our videos because they went viral in China as well, and they called us, and we didn't know what to expect, but guys, it was epic. In 2018, we also had a Comcast Xfinity commercial, which was really cool, uh, directed by Michael Gracie, and it appeared nationwide in newspapers and online. We were also in a movie randomly called Monmersia, and it was really cool because the director of this movie actually saw us two years ago in a video and remembered us. It was released worldwide, and he's awesome. So that's us, and um, that's our story so far. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We've made it this far on our own. Here's our quick stats. So we're dancers, actors, and social media creators, and something actually like a lot of people don't know about us is that we're actually business grads, and we own hotels in the Chicagoland area. So we're always flying back and forth from Chicago to LA, and our entire family's in Chicago too. So our family comes from a long line of business owners, doctors, engineers, anything brown. Yeah, we're the first people out of our entire family to do anything creative, like anything to do all. anything yeah. different. So like social media seems kind of like a fairy tale, like ambiguous. Like you don't Very know, ambiguous. you don't know what you're getting yourself into. So yeah, this is like uncharted territory. We're gonna get our channel up to one million subscribers in the simplest, fastest, and most affordable way possible. Can we do it? I think we can. I think we can too. So we don't really get anything from AdSense, but we do from Instagram and from our dance gigs all over the world. But only thing is, it's still not enough to fund all of our dreams. So as we get closer to 1 million, we'll keep you guys updated on what goes on with this because um, social media money is real. Or that's what we think. Well, they say that the first million is the hardest to make. Yeah, whether that's like followers, dollars, views, etc. We actually looked it up the other day and there's a site that tells you how many like uh, channels are over a certain number. So apparently there's only like 6,000 plus channels that are over 1 million right now. It's still a lot. It's still a lot, but I thought there'd be more. I don't know. So why do we want to get to 1 million? Well, honestly, it's just a number. It is just a number. Even though it's just a number, I feel like um, We've been feeling a lot of this like self-doubt for like the last year and a half, two years. We've been feeling like, you know, is anything happening? What's going on? And I feel like it's really hard to put down that self-doubt until you prove it to yourself that you can do something. Even if you're super successful, I think you'll still have days where you kind of feel like, am I on the right path? Like, is this where I want to be going? Am I doing anything worthwhile? Am I ever going to get somewhere? And honestly, like if we can achieve 1 million subscribers, we feel like it's a way of proving to ourselves that we can do anything. Yeah, we that can achieve we all our of our dreams. dreams. Yeah. Oh, here we did it. It's proof. So now we can do everything else. Yeah. And um, honestly, it's just fun. It also, it's just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We found an article on this exact topic and we wanted to share it with you all. Yeah, because it was just so eloquently written, I thought that it'd be really cool to put it in here. Basically, it's called The Psychological Reasons Why Your First Million is the Hardest by Steve Seibold. Five real reasons why getting to the, your first million is the hardest, and it doesn't just apply to money, it applies to so much more than that. It applies to like views, subscribers, it's more about psychology. Yeah, anything in life you can apply this to. Yeah. The first one is psychological interference. So most people have doubts, fears, and an overall lack of belief about earning money before they've done it. But once you've achieved something unusual, the doubt, fear, and worry disappear. The subsequent millions are earned far faster than the first one because um, you put the self-doubt down and you no longer have to carry it on your back. 
The next one is mental toughness. The mental and emotional strength gained during the fight for your first million becomes a true asset in the fight for the next million. Feelings of success grow and they turn into a momentum. So after you make your first million, you kind of get a taste of what it takes to actually make it. And you believe in yourself. Next is supreme self-confidence. Once you've proven to yourself that you can earn that first million, the potential for more is endless. There's a confidence and a calm that comes after the first million, and once you've done it before, you are 100% sure you can do it again. Basically, you have to get out of your own way, and we know this from experience, the only person you really have to impress is you. Nonlinear thinking. The first million usually achieved through nonlinear problem solving, service providing, or innovation encourages you to think out of the box. Most people who have not earned their first million think of it as making money in a linear fashion, trading time for money. Last but not least, we have emotional motivation. After your first million, you begin to see your dreams as a coming attraction to reality instead of simply a wistful fantasy or a fairy tale. Basically, it's a big, positive, self-affirming cycle. And after you get your first million, you realize that you had it in you all along and you can do anything you put your mind to. So yeah, that's us. And this is our real, raw, unscripted journey to 1 million subscribers. And also unmonetized. I want to add that in there because yeah, it's not it's monetized. It's unsponsored and unmonetized, and we don't make money from dance because it's, it's copyrighted. copyrighted. Just want to let you guys know this is our real, honest journey, and uh, we're not going to leave things out. We're not going to sugarcoat things. A lot of people get noticed after they hit like, like the one million mark. Um, then they show you what, like what they do every day and how they make it happen. Yeah, people start noticing you after you get to one million, two million, three million, but nobody really shows you how you even get to the first million, and that's what we want to show you guys. And the reason why this makes most sense to even like do it in our car is first of all like free windshield lighting first of all bad lighting just <laughs> first like all, out here just being cheap but um, second of all um, it's kind of a metaphor life is about the journey it's not about destination A or B it's not about getting to a million dollars or a million that subscribers so of you. whatever it's true <laughs> life is about life is about life is about the journey cliche Hi. but true anyways we recently hit 200,000 subscribers on this channel, so we wanted to say thank you guys so much if you've been here since day one. And if you haven't, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we will be posting a lot more from now on. A little history on our channel. So just looking this up on Social Blade real quick. So we had total subscribers gained for the channel ever, and you can see we were at zero on October 3rd, 2017, which is when we kind of started. Then we gained momentum, gained momentum, gained momentum until we hit 100K on September 7th, 2018. And then we kept on going up from there until we finally hit 200K, like literally on the 25th. We had just been posting randomly up until now, and we're super excited for the journey to 1 million coming forward because we're gonna be posting a lot more consistently. So we're not exactly sure how we're gonna get to 1 million. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out.